Samuel 8, 6 through 22, uh, 1 Samuel 16, verses 1 through 13, and verse 1, 1 Kings chapter 1, verses 32 through 40, and the book of Luke, chapter 14, verses uh, 17 through 32. The golden text that reads, Ye have this day rejected your God, who himself saved you out of all your adversities and your tribulations. And ye have said unto him, Nay, but set a king over us. And that's coming out of 1 Samuel chapter 10. Um, yes, chapter 10 and verse 19. The lesson outline is the background of the king. The second point is the presentation of the king. And the third point is the beginning of the kingdom. Amen. Now, I'm, and I'm, this is going to be a little different today. All right. So let I'm going to go ahead and start out with reading the, uh, from, and, and my book is page 115. And it reads, this is the uh, summer introduction. Once the children of Israel arrived in, in the promised land, they were told to destroy its inhabitants. To some degree, this was accomplished, but a number of nations continued to harass the Israelites. For this and other reasons, the people demanded a king, thinking that a monarch, a monarch similar to those in the surrounding nations would assure them of victory over their enemies. Even though Samuel outlined the consequences of such an arrang arrangement, the people were determined to have a king. God granted their request. Now the devotional outline from verses 9 through 12, uh, 9, chapter 9, verses 1 through 2 says, Saul was from the tribe of Benjamin, who were descendants of one of Jacob's favorite sons. Saul, father Kish, was a mighty man of power. Young Saul was tall and good looking, had natural qualities that would make him a favorite among the people he was chosen to rule. He apparently possessed leadership qualities that he might have learned from his own father, though he was reluctant to accept the crown. As the spiritual leader of the nation, nation Samuel called Israel together for a solemn assembly to publicly <coughs> identify the new king, reminding them of their deliverance from Egypt. But Samuel again pressed home the truth that their desire for a king was a rejection of the governance of God himself. Tribe by tribe and family by family, God chose, chose what choice was narrowed down in some way perhaps through the, skip that, God identified his choice for the new king for whatever reason, perhaps simply out of shyness, Saul was nowhere to be found. And then Saul's selection out of 1 Samuel 10, 22 to 24. Again, the people shot the Lord God, sought the Lord guidance, and discovered that the man they were seeking and hidden himself among the baggage. Once he was brought before the people, Saul stood out because of his height. Because of Saul's impressive physical stature, the people were further convinced that this indeed was the man God had chosen to lead their nation. Like several other kings of Israel, however, Saul began well, but ended badly. This was a direct result of his unwillingness to fully obey the Lord. Amen. 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 Even though Saul had been identified as the new king, the formal inauguration uh, would occur later. Certain men who hard God had touched enthusiastically, enthusiastically followed Saul, and most of the nation fully supported the new monarch. Not all, however, were eager supporters of the new king, as the reference to children of Bethlehem indicates. Bel 
is a Hebrew word meaning of no use and usually denotes <coughs> worth, worthlessness in individuals. It was used by Satan, by Paul, in the New Testament. And that came out of 2 Corinthians 6 and 15. Amen? Amen. 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 The aim of the lesson today is to encourage us to yield to God's will instead of insisting on our own way. Yeah. Now the topic of the lesson says that Israel rejected God right. as king. Amen? Amen. So, my first question to us is the word rejection. How do you see the word rejection in this text? When we, how do you see rejection? Rejection. No, 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 no longer won't. No longer won't. Not willing to follow. Not willing to follow. Mm -hmm. Refusing refuse to accept. Mm -hmm. Refusing to accept. Anybody else? You want to have it your own way? I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't want to expect that, but that's good. I'm better than you. I don't need you, in other words. Yeah, so, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> when you reject that, when you reject something, that means I got something better. Yeah, that's absolutely. Than what, you, than what you are. Absolutely. 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 So, so that's what the people were saying. I'm better than you. Okay. Absolutely. Go ahead. <laughs> Go on, bro. Yeah, so they rejected God as king. They knew of him. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. They knew of him. Sure you're right. They had an idea that, you know, their parents and the judges and all of them had taught them God. Sure you're right. But then still, they rejected him. What in our day and time? Do we reject the law? Is that's a question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah, do we reject God? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. As King. Yeah. We know He's Lord. Yes. We know He's the King. He's the creator of all things. We know this. Right. The Bible teaches this. Our parents taught us this about God. So what is it about nature, <laughs> this human nature, mm -hmm. that make us reject God? Mm -hmm. When we know that he's all powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He knows that he's better. Uh, he knows us better than we know ourselves. That's what I can't even count the number of hairs on my head. Mm -hmm. But he knows. But he knows. That's what is that right? That's right. Yeah. But it's still, without all of that, they rejected him. Yeah. I would say our selfish ways. Our selfish ways? <laughs> Amen. Yeah, our ways can interfere or get in the way of letting God rule over our lives. It will. Because the Bible tells us and warns us that in the flesh, the will is no good thing. Amen. We all want to do it our way. And why is that? Because we think we know better. Now I'm going to add to what Sister Ruth said. Um, because of sin and the sin nature, the born in sin, shape, and iniquity. And so, I had to, so sin didn't run away from me when I became a believer. It's still there fighting. And so in time, <clears throat> I give in because I want either I believe this is going to be better for me or this is going to be easier if mm -hmm. I do it this way. Yeah. Can I just add to what she said? Okay. Uh -huh. That's good. Uh, we were born in sin, shaped in iniquity. So all we know is the natural stuff that's around us. Yeah. We All we know is ourselves. <laughs> right. We don't, we, we know of him. Is that right? Mm -hmm. But we know ourselves, what? I'm 67. So I've been with me for 67 years. <laughs> so I know me. <laughs> I know my likes. I know what I dislike. And so because I know me, 
I'm comfortable with myself. Right. But God knows we better than not know ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for us to not reject him as far as not knowing of who he is. But it's easier for us to reject him being Lord of our lives. Because we want to control our lives. And that's just human nature. That's what we were born in. That's what we were shaped in. We want to control. Jesus said it like this. That we got to reject ourselves. Mm -hmm. This like mama, don't let mama, father, sister, brother, husband, don't let none of this come before him. Right. Why? Because he want to be Lord. Right. And if we don't do it, it's a, it's conveys the thought to him that it's a rejection. Because mm -hmm. we are saying we know better. And that's what the children, that's what the lesson is about today. They rejected God after knowing all that his ancestors went through. Their ancestors went through. Through the, with Egypt. 400 some years in bondage. They heard the story. But yet still, let's look at, we're going to set this lesson up real good. I'm going to turn to 1 Samuel 5. Well, let me read the the lesson text first. Okay? So this is awesome. First Samuel chapter 9, verses 1. Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abel, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the son of Zeror, the son of Bacharach, the son of Aphion, a Benjamite, a, man, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a charged young man, and God and goodly. And there was not among them, the children of Israel, a goodly, goodly young person than he. From his shoulders and upward, he was higher than any of the people. 10 and verse 17. And Samuel called the people together unto the, unto the Lord to a uh, mispah, and said unto the children of Israel, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, I brought up Israel out of Egypt and delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians, and out of the hands of all kingdoms, and of them that oppress you. And ye have this day rejected your God, who himself saved you out of all your adversities and your tribulation. And ye have said unto him, Nay, but set a king over us. Now therefore present yourself before the Lord by your tribes and by your thousands. And when Samuel had called Caused all the tribes of Israel to come near. The tribe of Benjamin was taken. When he had called the tribe of Benjamin to come near by their family, the family of Matron was taken, and Saul the son of Kish was taken. And when they saw him, he could not be found. Therefore they inquired of the Lord from If the man should yet come thither, and the Lord answered, Behold, he had hid himself among the stuff. Mm. That's deep now. That's good. Mm. And we're going to deal with all this. And they ran and fetched him tents, tents, dense. And when he stood among the people, he was higher than any other people from, the sh from his shoulders and upward. And Samuel said to all the people, See ye him whom the Lord hath chosen, that there is none like him among all the people. And all the people shouted and said, God save the king. Then Samuel told the people the matter of the king and wrote it in a book and laid it up before the Lord. And Samuel sent all the people away, every man to his house. And Saul also went home to Gilead. And there went him, went with him a band of men whose, whose hearts God had touched. Now in 1 Samuel chapter 7 through verse 15, uh, yeah, verses uh, 5 through 14, deals with my, my mispah. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, We're going we to deal with that in a few minutes. <clears throat> but verses 9 and 10, uh, verse, chapter 9, verses 1 to 2, verses 1 and 2, deals with 
identifying of the identity of Saul's father and the characteristics of Saul. Now, it says that Saul's father was from the tribe of Benjamin. Is that right? That's right. Now, who was Benjamin? Somebody tell me who was Benjamin. The baby boy. The baby boy of uh, uh, the tribe. Of all the tribes. Okay. Look deep. He was the, um, the, the favorite son um, through Rachel, Rachel right. who ended up dying. He was the only um, child um, between that union. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Who was the father? Of Ben. Jake. Jake. Yeah, you got it. I didn't mean it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whose name was Jake? Okay. What else can we tell us? What else can we all understand about the tribe of Benjamin? It's the smallest least tribe. It's the least tribe. So what is it? It's the least tribe. And that's, so that's why the fight is coming. Ah, oh, this is the fight. No. Now, when Jacob blessed Benjamin, Go ahead. what did he say? He blessed because Benjamin and his ancestors, his descendants, they was warriors. Man, God already knew. Uh, and when he used Jacob and blessed him and said, man, you're going to be like a wolf. You're going to devour and you're going to divide. You're going to be a conqueror. And so, fitly, Saul was of the tribe of Benjamin. <laughs> Ain't that something? Who else was from the tribe of Benjamin? Was that Ehud? The one he studied some Ehud, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Paul? Oh, what you talking about? I'm going to see what Ehud did to me. And that's good, because Paul said he was least among the apostles, and he, he said he was a Benjamite mm -hmm. from the tribe of Benjamin. Yeah. Now, what was the difference between Paul, with name was Saul, and, and King Saul? Mm -hmm. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Somebody, somebody, what's the difference between, I mean, the contrast between those two? Oh, which one? Oh, wait. No, you said it's Saul. Oh, it's Saul. Saul. It's Saul. Saul. But with the, the Paul was a persecutor of God's uh, saints. Saul. 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 I mean, Saul. 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 Before he was Okay. And then when he got converted, he became Paul. Okay. Now, now what you going to say? Because I know where you go. So, at, at, at the beat. Blow my voice. No, no, no. That's what you want to So, so at the, at the beginning, the contrast. Mm -hmm. um, King Saul started out uh, having been chosen uh, to go and lead the people, um, mm -hmm. to and lead the people, lead the people back to God. Um, Saul was chosen as a persecutor. To go and 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 reign terror mm -hmm. and, um, and and be a terrorist to the people. So that, that and then um, King Saul became uh, the antecedent to the people, and Paul became then the protagonist of saying that hey, this is the way to God, mm -hmm. and so that mm -hmm. he is so people can follow him and follow him. Follow me, let me establish these things in the name of God. And Saul fell into a, a state of, mm -hmm. of, of uh, craziness. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's what ended up happening. Amen. And then we cut. Both was in. And if we look at the, the physical aspect, uh -huh. all. So Saul was was shorter in mm -hmm. stature than King Saul 
what? Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, and some said Paul wasn't that good looking too. That's right. That's right. And some, and you know, theologians commentary said Paul wasn't that good looking. That's right. Whereas well, King saw, he said he was a handsome man. That's right. That's right. Built. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I catch you. Yeah. <laughs> That's the country. Right. And one of them, one is shy and the other one is yes. Oh, yes. 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 Different personality. But yes. they both was from the tribe. Yes. Paul had.